Hello guys, Aris here and today we are going to learn about bubble sort. Before bubble sort, uh, we just have to know about array. What is an array? Array is a collection of similar type of data. So here we can see that only a number is there. Here is only a number is there. There is no uh, alphabet is there. So we can consider it a integer type of data okay so this is a integer type of array now uh, what is sorting sorting means uh, we just have to arrange a number in a particular order sorting is using for arrange a number in a particular order such as ascending order okay here we can see that this is uh, it has no order if you can see uh, carefully there is no order so for ascending order we just have to use sorting okay how we can sort this number after sorting this will look like what 0 1 2 3 and 7 now this array is sorted now okay so now we going to tell about how so, uh, bubble sort is work okay bubble sort uh, is, is just swipe the number is swipe uh, is just swipe two number how we swipe uh, firstly we can see if two is lesser than 3 uh, which is right then this 2 will be swiped here this is let me this is i just explain you how uh, sorting work and now we consider it 2 number so after sorting 2 uh, first element 2 will be there then 3 two, 1 7 and 0 ok now again we see this number if this number is lesser than this number then again swipe now it will be swipe let's see Just like that. Again, we can see here if uh, zero is lesser than seven. Yeah, it is true. It is true. So this two number will be swap. Swap means adal badal. Jana. A simple meaning of swap can. Okay. okay. Two, one, three, zero, and seven. Simple. Uh, this way the sorting work. Uh, at the end, the array look like zero, one, two, three, seven. Now. Our logic is clear how so, uh, bubble sort is work. Now we just have to code this logic. Firstly, we have to declare a array. So we take a simple example or easy example for better understand. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So you can understand in a better way. Okay, here I declare the array. Now, from here, we declare method public static void, and we have to give some function name. Uh, now we take it a bubble here. 
as a function name and it will take what array integer array center now here we declare int temp which is uh, uh, used for swiping the two number you will see after the code now int i equal to starting from 0 i less than array dot length minus 1 i plus plus okay why we return here minus 1 uh, the, the question arise okay because if we sorted the four element then fifth element will be sorted automatically that's why we just have to sort only four element that's why minus one we return here okay now again we just have to declare one more loop so this loop is called a nested loop g equal to zero and g less than array dot length okay minus one minus one minus i if one uh, element is sorted so we just have to sort it the other element that's why we written here i okay now i plus uh, sorry j plus plus here if array j is greater than array j plus 1 what it's mean okay uh, j is 0 here okay 0 means uh, this array 0 indicate this number and 0 plus 1 obviously 1 so this array indicate 4 here we can see that 5 is greater than 4 yes then it uh, then uh, if statement will be executed simple and equal to array g array g equal to array g plus 1 then array j plus 1 equal to what time now this three statement for swiping the two element such as 5 will be swiped to here and 4 will be swiped to here simple now we just have to show this changed array because this is changed o integer i equal to 0 i less than array dot length i plus plus this is out now array i let's check uh, before that we just have to call this function or call this method as per java the simple write bubble and pass the array from here not check it's work or not yeah it's working for horizontal view we will just have to cut to word and give some space 
right now you can visualize what has changed thank you